So, three techniques. The first one is molding and casting resin. If you are interested in this technique, I have a full tutorial. My tutorial number 58 is what you need. I'm pouring the resin and then I'm removing the excess with a little stick. And basically, it's very funny. This technique uh, is very quick and uh, with this you can uh, clone uh, little small pieces that are very detailed. In this case, I'm using uh, this technique for create uh, the circle of the well and uh, two supports and a little roof, as you can see here. I detach the resin little before it is completely hard, so it's easier to cut the excess and uh, remodel a little bit the pieces if necessary. For the second piece, I start from a little roll of cardboard and then I take the measure for I have the same height of the first well. With an hole, I start to enter in the thick cardboard and then with a very, very sharp scissor, I cut it. The third one is uh, from foam, so I use the resin well as guide for my proxen, so you have the exact height once again, and uh, then I cut the foam, first of all with my guide, and then as you can see here I use uh, a replicate of this uh, circle cutter, this is a homemade replicate, maybe I will uh, give you a tutorial for this, it's just in cardboard and with a pen, and with this I just cut two circles. So at the end I have my circular well, easy. I cut it in three my circular well for uh, alternate the cut that you have with the proxen, so you can camouflage it in the brick pattern. I then create the brick pattern for each one of the circles. And uh, also I put a washer beneath the bottom piece for uh, more extra weight. And then I put all together as you can see here. Now, with some uh, pieces of foam, I create bricks. I improve the texture, squeezing them in my hands like that. Don't be gentle here. I curve them a little bit by my fingers and uh, I glue a couple of lines around the piece of round cardboard. For the top I cut angles of about 30 degrees and I complete the top line.
very nice. At this point, we are ready for create the base for uh, all of the three wells. I create uh, a stone base with an uh, irregular pavimentation. I then make the shape more interesting with my exacto knife. Removing some of the, you know, external bricks, external stones for uh, integrate the piece in every environment. After a passage with the aluminum foil technique, I just uh, increase the separation lines between the stones for more definition of the piece. After I've attached the, the well, I decided to remove the bottom in this specific piece because uh, I was thinking about something that you can use as passage, maybe a, an entrance for the cistern or something like that, or just a passage for a lower level in a dungeon, you know. So I need the lid. I attached a piece of cardboard, a round piece of cardboard on a thin piece of foam for create the wooden grain and the wood texture. I create the wood grain with a metal brush and then I define the planks with, with my pen. I then add with two pieces of cardboard the reinforcements and as you can see a couple of handles in my usual way. You can check also my tutorial number 4 for my wooden doors and stuff like that. For the leather I use just uh, 5 sticks with the square section, putting them together with the super glue and then with hot glue, glued in place. Done. For the piece in resin, as you can see here, I just removed a couple of uh, bricks. Actually, I had a little problem here. You can see I broke the piece when I tried to remove the brick. And then I put all together with super glue. Very, very fast and very easy. Since I decided to create uh, some water effect inside, I need to immediately color the inside of the wells. And then I created uh, also for these pieces a couple of uh, bays with uh, stone pavements. The first one with square and irregular stones. The second one with uh, circular stones. I take out carefully each one of the corners for a, a more realistic effect. And uh, at the end, I just file a little bit the extremity of the piece. A 
a drop of hot glue and done. Now, for both of these wells, with the roof actually, I have prepared a handle for the rope. I have this uh, beautiful uh, rope that is very interesting with the texture. And with some uh, super glue, I just attached this uh, piece of sticks in place. I use a piece of uh, wooden stick for the resin uh, well, while I use uh, some uh, foam for the <laughs> foam. Well, for the handle, I just put together a couple of uh, little, little uh, sticks forming a little L and with some super glue, I can attach it to the resin piece. Be careful, you cannot use uh, directly on the foam super glue because uh, it will melt. And then for the water effect, I was uh, I was short in uh, resin, in clear resin, so I tried this experiment with some uh, clear hot glue. In the beginning it was nice, then uh, the hot glue tend to be not so transparent, so yeah, I should use some clear resin. For the foam well, I suggest you to watch a tutorial that uh, the big boss of the foam, the king of the foam itself, the very, very hero of the foam, Jeremy have prepared for you on uh, Black Magic Craft. That tutorial is very complete and basically I followed the same technique. So check it out, it's great. So at this point I just added uh, a couple of uh, buckets that I've also casted in resin and uh, I was ready for the you know shingle time on the roof of my foam piece. I didn't want to spend too much time for this roof so I create this uh, you know shingle lines that are very very easy and practical and fast to prepare i first uh, create a wooden grain with my pen then i accentuate the you know separation lines between the shingles and then i attach the strips like that the effect at the end is great And then I just trim off the you know excess with my shiso at the end. Nice. For uh, improved the aspect and the embellishment of the piece, I covered the extremities, the lateral extremities with a couple of you know uh, piece of foam that simulate the planks in wood. Not only the wood grain, also the nail, the nail holes are very important in wood and parts for, uh, you know, improve the realism. These pieces are very little and they need a little more protection. So I first of all cover them with a coat of uh, black acrylic paint, mod podge and water. For this technique you can also check my tutorial number one. Then, for the colors, it was very simple. I just pass in gray the stones, in uh, brown the wood, and then I just uh, complete the piece with some uh, lighter shades for the gray and for the brown. At the end, with a little bit of uh, off-white, I create the you know last touch for the very 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 superficial parts. Some flocking is what those pieces need for uh, you know the final uh, touch. A little bit of PVA glue and uh, that's it. Great results!
ok guys this is it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel remember to support this channel through patreon or uh, paypal and uh, yes i think i see you all on the next episode till next time happy crafting